the the Hindu phobia or the discrimination based on being Hindu, that actually interestingly enough came more from, I would say the teachers. So mm -hmm. most of my teachers were, were excellent. They were, they were very good. But then I had, um, you know, in, in high school, I had a teacher um, on, you know, ancient, ancient history who um, was teaching about, you know, Hinduism, this is one class out of, out of the year. And he got like a lot of things wrong. And then when I raised my hand and said, no, it's, it's not like, that's not how we think of it. He said, well, I read three books on Hinduism. So I know what I'm talking about. And like, who are, you know, who are you to, 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 to challenge that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's a very, you know, I, th I think nowadays maybe that wouldn't fly, but that, that, was, uh, that was his tone then. And of course we're raised to be very deferential to our, to our teachers and respectful. And so I didn't have the wherewithal of, uh, of, of how to respond to him. But that's where I kind of encountered that. Or um, I had like another teacher who would bring in like newspaper clippings. And sometimes there'd be something about India, like one of these kind of temple of doom type of articles, like, oh, look in India, like this nice. happened, like a, a flight crashed and the, the villagers garlanded the pilots. So they must've been like worshiping, like this kind of like very basic misunderstanding of what our you know cultural practices are and, and things like that. And they would read it in front of the class and people would, would laugh along.